Welcome to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to discuss quite a bit. We are going to follow all this uh, watch list which I have, and after that, we have, after we're done with this one, we'll uh, discuss the forex market. So we are going to discuss Nasdaq 100, Dow Jones, S&P, FTSE, Nifty, DAX, crude oil, gold and gold and silver has already been discussed. If you guys are interested on gold and silver and miners. GDX as well and I think three miners that I've discussed uh, the special analysis available on my YouTube channel you can refer back to it it was uh, forecasted just a day before and then Bitcoin and Ethereum we are going to look at it where the Bitcoin and Ethereum are heading after we are done with that we are going to look for Forex and within Forex we have four charts to discuss we are going to look at Euro, British Pound, Canadian Dollar and the US Dollar itself so let's start with our first chart that we have uh, we'll start the stocks first of all as in uh, Nasdaq 100 so let's see what's happening with the Nasdaq 100 I'm expecting that we're gonna see prices jump over here as soon as we hit the target right over here we're gonna see a reversal this reversal is going to be an important one and let's have a look at the daily time frame so we can actually get some um, okay so this is what we are looking for right now we're expecting for the prices to go up right in that area which is uh, 14,400 and after that I'm expecting that we should actually start seeing decline towards that uh, although my previous target was uh, for the uh, previous target was uh, way right over here but right now I have revised the target for NASDAQ and I'm expecting when prices goes right up over here we're gonna come down and our target has been declined from 7,000 to 10,800 we are still in the bearish cycle nothing has changed with the bearish cycle we have to look for the clues uh, when we ch see a change in the market behavior and the depth in the fourth wave is quite a bit so we cannot ignore that depth there is a possibility that we can actually fall way under we we'll look uh, into it but the initial target is going to be our 10,800 and after that we'll uh, do a repetition of uh, we'll have to relook the analysis next week two three days are bullish and then we'll turn bearish Dow Jones is important one another one I'm expecting that Joe Don is expected to hit this particular target which is uh, 35,500 after that target is achieved we are going to turn back towards on the bearish side which is 27,500 target so uh, you guys can actually refer back to something like this there's a possibility that we actually can fall a little further down but we'll have to uh, look for that in the future initial target uh, is going to be right over here so we're going to go up right over here for um, next two three days I would say or maybe four days hit 35,500 and turn back what we can do on an hourly time frame is that we can actually definitely use a trend line or some sort of horizontal support uh, as a confirmation of the previous structure for example right over here uh, we have this confirmation that we have uh, I mean important structure that we have right over here so if the prices break below this one and uh, that will be confirmation that we have seen the top initially we are looking for the prices to jump up so we can actually keep pushing this upward a little once the prices have moved quite a bit we can actually bring this right over here to the previous stop right over here and then moved it a bit earlier it's, it's, so it depends on how far the uh, when the prices goes up we f need to follow this and we need to bring the trend line along with this right one over here uh, such as example this one right over here so we can bring the trend line right over here this is one so we can keep pushing the horizontal support and the diagonal we will stay uh, same right now in this particular condition we're expecting the prices to hit that and then we're expecting a reversal S&P 500 is uh, an important one uh, we can do a similar behavior with S&P 500 first of all let's have a look at the, what the potential target is uh, the potential target for S&P 500 is uh, 4400 ish and then we're expecting for the price to come down we can as I said with the earlier previous chart we can keep pushing this horizontal support and when the horizontal support and the diagonal line are broken we can confirm that there we have to change our uh, direction of the trend and we'll turn bearish on S&P 500 let's have a look on a daily time frame to see if we can actually find some important support for uh, S&P 500 so uh, for S&P 500 we have already seen uh, right over here so the next important target for S&P 500 is going to be somewhere around 3200 hundred, right over here so quite a bit of fall is expected in the S&P 500 FTSE 
uh, we are going we are f doing what we said we are expecting for the prior prices to push upward create a double top with this one in next two three days uh, I would say next three or four days and then we are expecting for FTSE to turn down let's have a look on a let me increase the chart and we can keep using the trend line we need to break the upper trend line let's forget about one two four five hourly time frame here is what we have seen uh, so far we are expecting for the prices to hit in this area 7660 once that is complete we are heading towards the bearish side that bearish side is uh, if I think I have not calculated the okay there it is so after that top is complete we are expecting for the prices to drop toward 6500 in FTSE next three four days are expected to be positive and then will turn towards negative towards the bearish side and the bearish side is going to about couple of months uh, that is the time period that we're going to looking for uh, Nasdaq 100, Dow Jones, S&P 500 next couple of months are going to be important it's the same time period that we are expected to create a bottom in uh, gold and silver and it's the same time period that we expected to create a bottom a minor bottom I would say or mi midterm bottom in FTSE and stock indices as well let's have a look at Nifty and uh, Nifty has gone up as we expected it to go up. We're expecting for Nifty to push higher, so we cannot use this anymore. All right? So we're expecting Nifty to push higher right over in this region, and after that is complete, uh, we'll expect for Nifty to come down and touch 14,150. So initially 18,100, and after that target is met, and the prices start dropping below one, we need to draw the horizontal support on an hourly time frame we'll uh, ha already have the diagonal support so we need to keep push the the diagonal uh, so the, the horizontal support once the prices fall below the horizontal support and the the diagonal line after it has gone closer to the target area we'll expect for the prices to drop back to 14100 and it's going to take at the same time about a couple of months time period so you can adjust your trading um, how, how you want to do it DAX has given us an initial uh, uh, interesting opportunity. Uh, we can clearly see that. Uh, give me a moment. We can not use it as four. So we have this as a one, and this is an A, B, and C. I'm expecting C to top up somewhere around 14,380 ish, and then we're expecting for the prices to drop. Next three or four days, expecting to be positive bullish on DAX. And then our downturn target is going to be 11,470 ish. Uh, as you guys can see, the revision has been made in the uh, the target of uh, stock indices. The reason is the depth that we have seen. All right, the strength that we have seen giving us has indication that market is not going to be uh, dropping that easily. This is good news, which is good news on its own. So crude oil is interesting let's have a look what we are seeing in the crude oil although we have seen a reflection coming off uh, from that area I'm expecting that this would actually continue on and create a a double top around that area okay so we're expecting for this to continue and then turn back we can definitely use uh, horizontal support right over here too when prices move upward we can actually push it right over here for now we'll leave it right over here where it is so next three four days are expected to be bullish on crude oil I'm expecting that crude oil is going to continue right over here up to this region uh, which is $100 per barrel and then we'll turn bearish uh, next three four days are going to be important one and uh, I'm expecting that this area shall provide an important plenty of support for crude oil and then we'll turn bearish so we'll have to readjust this uh, diagonal lane for that we have for now gold and silver already has been discussed in a separate video 
some of the mm, the comments uh, were indicated that I'm guessing no I'm not guessing uh, I do my analysis and after done my analysis sometime uh, I, I do not get paid a lot from the YouTube I do not get paid nothing from YouTube for sharing this content so I have to work uh, to make my living and because of the time availability I do my best to provide the analysis um, so I'm not guessing no I'm not guessing I do my analysis and then I provide you the analysis uh, with due diligence let's have a look at Bitcoin what's happening with Bitcoin All right. As you guys can see, the target is marked around 30,000 for Bitcoin. I'm expecting next three, four days, next week to be bullish for Bitcoin. We are expected to see 30,000. After we have seen 30,000, we will turn down to downside. Uh, we'll turn bearish for the cryptocurrency, which includes Bitcoin, Ethereum, or other cryptocurrencies as well. So next few days are going to be interesting for uh, Bitcoin. I'm expecting Bitcoin to turn. Um, to stay bullish that as the as it is right now and then once it hits the target of 30,000 I'm expecting it to turn bearish uh, we can definitely use horizontal support diagonal support uh, to carry on our um, analysis on cryptocurrency ethereum uh, the other day when I was talking and I was in rush I provided 3,000 support for uh, the price target for 3,000 for Ethereum, it's not 3,000. Okay, it's not. It is bullish. Nothing has changed with that regard. I'm still bullish on Ethereum. The price target for Ethereum is 2,400. This is the price target for Ethereum, 2,400-ish. I'm ex expecting for the prices to stay in that region, and then turn bearish. Next few days are expected to be bullish in Ethereum, bullish on Bitcoin. Let's have a look at quick look at uh, forex market and see how the forex is doing. I myself have a couple of positions open on uh, euro and on British pound. Let's have a look at euro. How is euro is doing? Okay. We have seen prices uh, go beyond the important resistance that it had on a smaller time frame, right over here. So we have seen this resistance was very important. We have seen prices go beyond that and we have seen bounce b back and then we have seen a double top with this one so I'm considering this as a smaller structure right now uh, so this is you can consider the smaller wave one and smaller two and we have one and two and then three four five and then another up one so you're expecting C to be a five wave structure and we have already seen some price behavior from it so we can see from the structure as well we have uh, a, B, and C, which is a flat correction in which wave C is much longer as compared to wave A. So I'm expecting that this 1, 2, and 1, 2 is still going to continue. And our target for Euro is going to be around this area, which is right over here. And the target is 1.06188. And this is our target for Euro. As soon as we, as we have received the target or we are close to that, it we should actually use this horizontal support is right over here right now it will go from over here to over here then if prices move over upside we can move it as soon as we have seen the support uh, coming back it so we'll keep it one step uh, back right over here for now and I'm expecting next three four days are going to be bullish for euro and then we'll turn bearish on a uh, scale let's have a look what I'll be expecting after that I'm expecting some a drop something like similar the drop that we have seen from top to bottom right over here so I'm expecting that we are going to see some similar drop that we have seen right over here pull back drop so drop pull back drop this is what I'm expecting right now after the bullish move is complete in euro British pound is a similar behavior we're expecting for British pound to go upward and create there is no target that I've I forgot to put the target over here let's see if we can quickly do it first of all as you guys can see it okay we can use this target give me a moment give me a moment that's our target okay
this is our target for this is our target for British pound so right now we are considering this uh, price point we have to adjust for this one is a this as B we have one and two and then we have three and four and five I'm expecting British pound to stay with this one uh, the support that we have right now it should be over here once the prices move away right over here we can bring the support over here and then we can keep following the price action and we can use the horizontal support and the diagonal line to confirm the break towards the bearish side so I'm expecting next two three days are going to be bullish for British pound. <coughs> <coughs> Canadian dollar let's have a look what's happening <coughs> so next three d uh, days two three days are expected to be bullish on Canadian dollar we are expecting for Canadian dollar to towards a uh, turn bullish this is an upside down chart so be aware of it that Canadian dollar when the chart goes down it's going to keep getting keep getting stronger our potential target for Canadian dollar is 1.25 and next two three days three four days you can say and then after that it will turn right over here we can exactly see what we are seeing on a four hourly time frame it will give you a clue of what I'm talking about so I'm talking about this one structure right over here this structure I'm right now talking about as soon as we see the double bottom it will start going up right over here so the Canadian dollar is gonna hit the target in the next three four days and then it will turn bullish on the chart and then Canadian dollar will start becoming weaker and weaker let's have a look at US dollar itself the US dollar itself is providing us a price target of right over here which is 103.40 uh, 42 43 uh, and or you can say 103.50 is a good target and then we uh, in this is should shall actually meet in next three four days and we'll turn bullish from over here and then we are going to see something some similar behavior that we have seen right over here so you're going to see some price movement pullback price movement pullback price movement all right so this is what is expected we are expecting maybe a couple of months of bullish US dollar uh, we have same time period for you uh, for gold to go towards creating a bearish turn stocks will be bearish in the next couple of months US dollars will be bullish itself the currencies are going to be bullish after they have completed a bottom I mean the current the currencies against the US dollar are going to be bearish after they have completed the top US dollar itself is expected to be bullish stock market is expected to be bearish I hope that you like the content if you did please press the thumbs up button so more and more people can see it and everything that you guys say is welcome thank you have a good one and bye bye